Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about peer dependencies, what they are, how to use them, and how to resolve errors like the one behind me here when they crop up. There's four scenarios I want to go through. Firstly, where we're not using peer dependencies and the issues that will arise there. And then how we use peer dependencies to overcome those kind of problems. So uh, there'll be two there. We'll look at installing an app and a plugin and, and looking at whether we install the app first or the plugin first and which one gets upgraded. So a couple of scenarios there to look at and then looking at what, what gets installed with a peer dependency or what doesn't get installed when you've got a peer dependency. So we're going to create an app and a plugin, go through some versions and see how peer dependencies get involved. So let me let me get rid of this for the moment. Uh, we'll come into this sort of stuff here about using force. Um, okay, let's do a clear. Let's make a say hello mm -hmm. folder here and I'm going to push this up onto npm so I'm going to get a package.json I'm going to get code open and I want this app to be runnable from the CLI so I'm just going to put it in a bin folder and make sure we can um, we can run it from the CLI so this little magic line helps us there and all this app is going to do is um, put out some text say hi from app uh, we do want it to be able to be overridable by a plugin so we'll just kind of put something together for that um, so we'll have a, a say hi method and by default that will just call our say hello there like so but we could try and load a plugin which we haven't written yet but we're going to and that would be the um that would be the say hello plugin Right, if there's no plugins, we kind of just want to give ourselves an indication of that. Let me get rid of this guy down here. So, uh, what, no plugins? And then finally, we just want to log out what what we've got. Is it is it the text from this app or is it the text from the plugin? Um, so it would be app.say hi. So when we get here, we'll call say hi, say hi, call say hello, and that just puts this text out unless, there's a, unless this plugin exists, in which case it will override app and we'll get a different output. Right, in here, I just need to give it a name as well in here so we can push it to NPM. Um, so what are we calling it? Say, say hello. We'll give it a, a very low version to start with. And we just need a bin folder set up there. And we probably want to say that it's type module as well. That should be enough to allow us to push this up to NPM. Um, so we can do an NPM publish. All right, so we've got version one set up there. What I'll create now is a little folder for us to actually use that. So let's get into here and we'll say a using say hello. And we'll just want to install it. So we install the say hello app, say hello. If I look at the package.json in here, it's installed it for me. I can run this now. And we should get, yeah, no plugins, because we haven't written a plugin yet. And it's saying say hi from app, which is our little line here from the app. Okay, so that's cool. Let's create the plugin quickly as well. Should be pretty quick. Um, so we'll have a say 
Hello, plugin. And we'll do an npm init there as well. This one's a lot more simple in that we just need it to have one file, index.js, that exports a function called say hi. And that will return hi from the plugin. We, we do need to name it again in here. So let's give it a, a name, um, say hello plugin. Give it a very low version and type module. Like so. Now we can push that one up to NPM as well. Uh, we should get version, oh, version 10.0.1. Okay. Um, that's fine. We'll go, we can go with that. Uh, all right. If I come back to the using where we've got the app. So when I'm running the app at the moment, there's no plugin and it's saying hi from the app. Let's make this a little bit bigger again. Uh, so let's try and install our plugin now for this app. version 10. Uh, so we have a look at the package. Yep, we've got version 10 of the plugin and version one of that. So now when I run this, uh, it should find the plugin and we should get a different output, which is high from the plugin rather than no plugins found and high from the app. Okay, so there's our app and plugin. Um, things look good. What? Let's get on to peer dependencies. There's no peer dependency set at the moment. Um, what would be a scenario where we might get into problems because of that? Well, if the author of the app now updates and goes to version one uh, and changes the API, that would be a scenario that might cause us a, a little bit of problem. Um, so let's go into the app. Uh, the, the author decides actually we want to change this API to actually be say hello, because that matches more to our app. So they can update that. They can happily do that as long as you change the major version. So it goes to version one. We're now calling say hello. Uh, let's, let's publish that new version. That's good there. That's up. Um, okay. So as a, that's the, the app author. They've done that on NPM. Now, as a consumer, we're using the app and the plugin. Uh, we see there's a new version of the app, version one, and we want that goodness. So we try and, we, we, we try and install that. Um, let me just clear this out for a second. What would we do? We'd be doing an NPM install of the app, and we probably need to say latest, because otherwise it won't give us a new version. Let's see if that gets it for us. Okay, so, well, let's just check. Let's check what we got. Um, yeah, the app is now version one. Um, obviously, the plugin hasn't changed. Notice there was no errors or warnings there. Uh, it's let us install that and said everything looks happy. But what happens when we try and run this now? So if I run the app, it finds the plugin and then it tries to call say hello on the plugin. If we look at our plugin, we've only got a function say hi because that's what the API used to be. So it's it's broken. Um, and this is so this is the first case where peer dependencies would have given us at least a warning at design time, install time, rather than us having to find this out at runtime. So let's have a look at what we would do to uh, try and try and remediate this um, or prevent it really in the future. So in our plugin, as an author of a plugin, we kind of want to say which applications we've tested this against. And you do that with the peer dependency. So let's have a peer dependency and it's going to be against the app. Um, so say hello app. And we need to say which versions. So you can do ranges and so on. We're going to say at the moment it was 
0.0.1 and up, but not past version one um, because that could be an API change and we've not tested against that. You know, it might work, um, but we don't know. So this is, this is what we're saying it will work against. All right, so we go and say, um, update our version here to 10.02, where we've got up here dependency now, and publish that. So I publish the plugin, the new version of the plugin has got a peer dependency. Um, what we want to do now is show how it would have been different back in, in this app here. So let's try and just revert this a bit. I'll nuke okay. that guy. I'll come in here and I'll put us back to 0.0.1 and um, what did we do? We upgraded the app, didn't we? And we had um, the plugin. So I'm going to have the new plugin, which nothing has changed on, apart from it's got a peer dependency. And I'm going to have the old app, 0.0.1. So if I do an npm install here at the moment, Things should just work. Let's just check what we've got. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and if I run it now, it should work and the plugin is found. Right, so say we're back in that scenario now where we upgrade the app and the API changes. Again, we would install the latest version of the app um, now, previously when we ran this with no peer dependencies, it just installed it happily as. When we run it now, we've got a peer dependency specified in the plugin. So, we run this, we get a warning. Um, the thing to note here is when we're looking at this from the aspect of installing the app rather than the plugin, it has actually installed it. Um, it's, not, it's not an error, it's not said, we're not, it's not blocked us. Um, so if I go into here, it has actually installed it, but it's warned us. Um, so we could now go and resolve that rather than pushing this out um, and then running it and finding the error at that point. We've already, we didn't need to go there. We already know there's an error because every time I run an NPM install now, it's going to come up with that error. Um, and this one's slightly different again now because it's now kind of moved on to the potentially coming from the plugin side. Um, and so it's, it's, it's given us this error and the option to do a four. So it, it depends what's being installed and upgraded onto what you see here. You can get that warning when you're just upgrading the app. Um, but if you're installing the plugin, you're going to get this one and it will actually block a plugin update. We'll, we'll show that approach now. So we've done the app approach there. Now let's try and look at this from um, the plugin approach. Um, okay, so what I want to do here now to do that one, and then, and then we'll try and go through doing one of these forces or not. Um, so. Let me try and reset this a little bit again. If we go, um, we'll keep version one of the app and we'll, um, we'll take this out completely. So we've only got the app. Uh, let's do that. Let's do an NPM install there check what we've got we've just got the app version one um, the only plugin out there in the wild works up to version one but not above it um, but we, we don't know that we, we see our app and we see the plugin and we go oh yeah let's let's install let's install the plugin so let's see what happens with this approach now so if, I, if i'm installing the plugin um, it should give us the version that's got the peer dependency and that should say ah, ah, you can't use this with version one 
So let's see what it actually does. Yep, we do get this error. So this is different to what we saw when we installed the app because that was just a warning. This one is red and errors and it hasn't actually installed it. If we look at the package JSON, we've still only got the app. It hasn't installed the plugin, it's blocked it. And that's why we now get the opportunity to, um, what did I want to do, removed one? Okay, let me, uh, yeah, that was, that was fine. I don't know what we had in there, but let's do the install again to get the error. Um, so now, because it's blocked it, it's given us this extra bit of information here on how we can actually still install it. Um, with the app, it installed it anyway, that was fine. It, you know, just warned you, but this one, you've actually got to do a different step to actually get it in here. Um, so if, I mean, there's, there's gonna be cases where the app has moved on to a new version um, and it's fine. It's changed some API elsewhere, not relating to plugins. It's added new stuff, blah, blah, blah. It had to change the major version. Um, you would still be able to use this plugin with it if that was the case. Um, but you're always going to see this error until the author of the plugin updates their peer dependencies to say that they've tested it and it works as well. So whether you can use Force or not depends on what has changed in the app. Um, so you can you can try this and, and see if it works. And if it does, that's fine. That's all good. At least you're aware of what is going on. Um, if you know it's going to break, then you wouldn't do this for. So we can we can you know we can get it to install. We know this will break because the API of the plugin has actually changed in this case. Um, but we can force it with that what it was saying there. So we can do um, and we can do just force, and now it will actually let us put it in. So we look in the package now. You see it has put it in, but we're still gonna keep on seeing that error, which is good because the error still exists. Now, every time we do an NPM install, we're gonna see this, but the app is there. You know, when I actually run it, we'll see the error, but it's actually gonna be calling it. So, um, okay, I don't know where it is, NPX. Um, You know, when we run this, it will, it will give us that error because we've upgraded. Um, but if that API had not affected our plugin, you could do that force and you would be fine. You could carry on. You'll still see the, the errors a lot until the plugin author updates it and then that will clean that up for you as well. All right. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if not. Um, but thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.